TOGAF is a framework, so it provides guidance on how to deliver EA following uh, the ADM as a consistent process and information flow. It also provides a set of guides and techniques to support EA practices covering areas such as how to build EA capability, how to handle governance and set the repository, and how to deliver architecture descriptions following the content framework. What it doesn't go into in detail is the relationship of how to construct and deliver architecture descriptions with a specific notation. And here's where Archimate can be used to support TOGAF in providing a standard modeling notation and language for the delivery of models and an architecture. On the other hand, Archimate focuses uh, on the modeling processes. Uh, it, therefore, it, it does not recommend or address any specific methodology, process, or framework to support EA as a practice. Uh, in these areas, uh, TOGAF is an appropriate uh, support mechanism for Archimate. Archimate uh, can also be used uh, to implement models, tools, uh, reference models that uh, give both standards the visualization and the models to support uh, implementation and executable standards in a real sense, in a practical deployed sense. Uh, well, our vision is to keep TOGAF and Archimate as separate standards uh, while providing guidance about how they can be successfully used together. This means that TOGAF can be used along with any other modeling notation or language notation, for example, with UML. And in the other direction, Archimate can also be used to uh, support an EA implementation that's aligned with any other EA framework or combination of different frameworks. So we're keeping them separate but related to each other. At the end of the day, the application of standards depends very much uh, on the particular context uh, for every organization or enterprise. Uh, the management frameworks and the tooling uh, that they have in place, this is the reason why standards like TOGAF and Archimate are designed to be adapted to fulfill the specific needs of a given enterprise. And most of the time they're used along with other practices and modeling notations. Uh, such as uh, governance or project management frameworks, requirements frameworks, uh, and, in, uh, and in notations such as UML or others. So uh, which way best practices uh, should be used must be based on an assessment of how they will deliver value to the particular enterprise and organization, uh, both for a short term and the long term.